Hey guys, Jeremy here from School of Walk Covent Garden. It's Walk Wednesdays once again, and this week we're taking Amanda Jane, one of our subscribers, suggestions. Chicken and mushroom stir fry. We're going true Hong Kong style here. So we've got some finely sliced ginger, but in chunks of fine slices. Some spring onion to go with that. Now we just want rough chunks of spring onion. So we're gonna sear it into the wok. And then just at the end, just slice halfway through and then into chunks again. Place your ginger and spring onion onto your wok clock. The wok clock, you start at 12 o'clock with your first ingredient and go all the way around. Now mushrooms, you can use whatever type of mushroom you want here. I've got a medley of mushrooms, so I've got some shiitake mushrooms, I've got some shimeji mushrooms, both white and brown. I've got some oyster mushrooms. I've got one little pink, cute oyster mushroom. So let's see how that goes, see if we can fish that out later on. I've got a little chestnut mushroom here as well, so I'm just gonna add that in. I'm actually gonna put that at 12 o'clock on my wok clock because I'm gonna sear the mushrooms first before taking them out and then finishing off the stir fry. So last bit of preparation before your sauce, your chicken. I've got some chicken thigh here. Just slice that nice and thinly through. I call this the roll cut. You're just rolling that chicken out so you get nice thin pieces of chicken. Once you've got your slices of chicken, you can marinate it. Classic Chinese marinade, light soy sauce, sesame oil, and a pinch of sugar. When you're measuring your marinade, simple process here. Two fingers deep in a bowl is one layer of marinade. So one layer of light soy sauce goes like this. One and a half. Sesame oil, one and a half. And one and a half pinches of sugar. Don't forget your corn flour. Just over a teaspoon of corn flour should do the job. I prefer to put corn flour into my meat and my marinated meat rather than pour corn flour paste into my stir fry at the end. That just gives a nice smooth finish to the stir fry. Give that a good massage. You're looking for a nice creaminess in that meat. And that corn flour is picking up all the sauce from the marinade. Meat's marinated, set that aside. Last thing, make up your sauce. This sauce is really, really simple. We've got some savory flavor from oyster sauce, about one and a half tablespoons. A couple of capfuls of Shaoxing rice wine. Give that a good mix, and just a pinch of sugar to help caramelize the oyster sauce. I've also got some hot water by my side, ready to go when I'm stir frying. Right, let's get ready to wok. First thing I'm gonna flash fry is the mushrooms. A little bit of oil, bring it to a really high heat. Once it's smoking hot, add your mushrooms. Fold those mushrooms through and seal them nicely, almost like you're sealing a bit of meat. You wanna get a light coloring on your mushrooms, and almost a slight char. Once you have that char, just put a splash of hot water into your wok and that will quickly cook your mushrooms through. Take them straight out of your wok to create space for your next ingredient. Add a little bit of oil, baste your wok, bring it to a nice smoking point. As soon as it's smoking hot, add your ginger and spring onion. Fold that through with that continuous movement. We're now searing that ginger and spring onion to get all the essence of that ginger into the wok and the oil. Keep folding that through. Give that ginger and spring onion time to flavor the wok. Push the ginger and spring onion to the back of your wok. Allow space for your chicken. Add a little bit of oil. Bring it to a good smoking point and then add your chicken. Sear the chicken nicely. Bring your ginger and spring onion over the top of your chicken so it doesn't burn. Keep searing your chicken. Fold it over once or twice and sear again. Repeat that process 
two or three times. Once your chicken is really nicely seared all the way around, then we can bring your mushrooms back in, bring your wok to really high heat, and then pour your sauce over the top. That should start to immediately caramelise. At this point, give your wok a couple of tosses through, just to cool it down quickly, and then back on the heat. You want to cook your sauce through and keep folding that chicken round until all that sauce wraps around your chicken. Time to serve up. Garnish with a little bit of finely sliced spring onion. Best part of the day, time to tuck in. Look at those mushrooms. Mm. <laughs> Thanks for your suggestion, Amanda. I love this dish as well. Really great home cooking. Simple stuff, just a little bit of light soy sauce, oyster sauce, savoury finish, love it. If you like this type of recipe and you want to know more, subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to our channel, subscribe to our channel. If you want to learn more food just like this, subscribe to our channel and keep the suggestions coming.